And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some mid-range frostbite. It's going to be our first deck for rank up Sunday today. We did really well with this deck the other day. Uh, frostbite cards seem to be in a pretty good spot. A lot of Lee Sin running around where Frostbite is really good and so is Culling Strike against that. And just barrier decks in general like Shen Fiora is pretty popular right now. Um, and then your even like your bigger dragon decks um you know with like aurelian soul and lux and that kind of stuff you can have your your frostbite cards your culling strike it seems to be in a pretty good spot now like the real aggressive decks could give you trouble your bilgewater noxus type of stuff um, but you still have some pretty decent uh cards and you try to just curve out against those so let's give this a try we're going to play it again for rank up sunday where we take a couple of decks we've done really well with here recently with both that and Lee and lux and um, then we're going to be trying our own version of Bilgewater Noxus with Misfortune and Twisted Fate. Call now on Fate Fortune. And then finally, um, revitalizing Ledros. Just kind of feel like playing that deck again. Um, and so we're going to be bringing that one back. All right, let's go play our five games in rank. Let's see how far we can rank up. We're starting today at 88. OP. Playing against Autofield with Bilgewater Noxus. I play against Autofield all the time. <laughs> Definitely the person I play against the most on here. I think every day I at least play against Autofield once, and it's always Bilgewater Noxus. Different versions, though. Today we're going Misfortune Gangplank. I think Autofield usually plays Twisted Fate Gangplank. Usually. No one's the wiser. This will shake up. Wow. All right, that was a good Omen Hop. Hopefully draw some things to fill out our curve. Turns three and four. Not exactly that. Um. A chill in the air. Arrows at the ready. Of course, we have these tricks we can use on this turn. Ooh, that's a good draw. Nice 4-4 body to fit in here. I don't think I'm going to troll chant and try to keep that thing alive. We're just going to play the trapper. Especially we can reset up with a... Reset up with an enraged Yeti coming in soon. What did you catch? Like a fish in water. <laughs> Hot on the trail. Time to race. Blocking with a one health unit against a misfortune at deck isn't really very Isn't very appealing anyway. All right, so I'm just gonna play this troll chant right now and just basically turn this Avros and Trapper back into a four-three instead of being one health. Um, man, our options are pretty good. <laughs> Either Hearth Guard or Ash. Options are pretty good. We'll play the Ash. Man, this deck's good. Mid-range Frostbite deck. You own what you take. I'll make corpses of them all. That's unfortunate. I'm through waiting. You and me, let's go. So the Sejuani is of course gonna overwhelm over. All the damage is going to me. Or like my my units, that's what I mean. Nah, darn it. Two did go to the Nexus. That's what, I didn't want any damage to go to the Nexus. Or 
all the damage just to go to these. Well, we'll see if they have 12 total Nexus damage. They just had... They just had four. I guess attacking is two, sleep with the fishes is two. Leave no survivors. Cowards. Many tribes under one banner. So I guess I need to target the sleep with the fishes, or sorry, I guess I need to target, they not sorry, not the sleep with the fishes, but the, like, I targeted the two through, the two two with Sejuani, and I needed to target the five six. That was, that was a bad play, I needed to target the five six and have my Ash challenge the five six. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure we were dead. Just a little too much Nexus damage and being able to do the last 12 points. Well, that's pretty good. Could be really good here. Swim within the flows of magic. Patience. Engulf them. All right, we'll just go with the brittle steel. Keep this river shaper from striking. Traded two for two. Traded my one drop and my brittle steel for their one drop in single combat. That wasn't a, a two for one because it, it did take out my brittle steel as well. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Hey, Autofill. GG. Yeah, you had Fervor, Decimate, and Imperial Demolitionist. Yeah. That was. So yeah, I was dead. I need. So even if I would have challenged the Jack, I need to challenge the Jack. Swiftly now. But I guess even if I would have done that, I'm through waiting. um, yeah, even if, I needed a challenge, Jack. But even if I would have done that, I, I would have lost, right? Because yeah, it's let's see, you had seven mana, so yeah, demolitionist and decimate would have killed me. It's a little too much nexus damage. Certainly see the swole squirrel attacking. Okay, they're just gonna concert strike. A gift from the river folk. Waiting for me to tap out and not have troll chant available. Plus two, minus two. And so now if they do have repost, if they want to like repost the river shaper, okay, they're gonna repost that thing. Let's see if they're gonna repost the river shaper, we'd still have um, brittle steel for it. The 
the fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Will no one listen? Perfect. That's the one I wanted with the mana cost. Being able to play that this turn and be able to go to open attacks next turn. I need just a moment. All right, let's see how we do. Face me. Let's attack. Definitely need to put this thing over last because they could uh, life steal barrier this and have it be. Yeah, have that gain them a ton of life, but that's why I want to put the smaller attackers first. They have to block a smaller attacker and life steal barrier that before the bigger things get in there. You're off. Diana Karma, Karma Nightfall. Looks pretty cool. Not sure about the Glory Seeker, honestly. No, our first game without turn one Omen Hawk. I already miss you, Omen Hawk. Oh, man, if we would have had turn one Omen Hawk and then the successor would have been a 5-4. Victory requires a sharp blade. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Punish transgressions. Could get the kill on the 2 2, but it's just a generic 2 2. Don't really need the kill on that thing. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Hot on the trail. Back, heretic. <laughs> you just call Whirling Death Mustache Strike? <laughs> You strike with a giant mustache. We were peaceful once. A week ago, you were trying Ash Sejuani without Omen Hawk, and it turned out to be great. I think Omen Hawk's a great card that you don't exactly need in this metagame with all the burn. Biggest counter cross by having two Highland Tower Keeper and two Averroes and Sentries felt nice. Devotion to battle. Hmm. What do they just play? Oh, Meter Shower. They just dealt a 4 damage to the Glory Seeker? What? No. Oh, no. I, I played Ash. They killed Ash. Okay. Sorry. I was confused there for a minute. I was very confused. I was like, what's going on? I was battling Bjerg. Okay, we got Sejuani. I was thinking that maybe we'd get Hearthguard. And I'd play Hearthguard. Sejuani's fine too. Targon's history is in each stone and star. Today you learned that Fizz can't stop Leona stun? Because. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, because the Leona stun doesn't target. It just stuns the the largest unit, no matter what. It's not, like, necessarily targeting. It's just a, a generic stun the largest unit kind of card. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know that like burn decks are are our deck's weakness, and so have, having Kindly Tavern Keeper would be nice. But I don't think it's out of the. I don't think you take I out. I, was always meant to I don't be. think you take out Omen Hawk. Kind of agree. I think you need the the one drops. Faster than my arrow? I think not. I need just a moment. So drawing three cards with the Cesar. Only 
the finest serve. Hmm. This reckoning could be good. What would you divine from my stars? Yours is the light that guides all travelers. You gotta believe me! Is this what you seek? You cannot hold us down. That attack looks kind of silly. No doubt he sees to dogs in the hereafter. Yeah, later on drawing those, sure. But having Omen Hawk on, on turn one to help slow down one drops is really important. And then also just increasing the size of some of these other things, of having some things not be three health, have them have be four health and stuff like that. But yeah, I understand that the turn seven, you'd rather be drawing something else. What did they just do? We'll hold the infinite. Hopefully not deny. I definitely want to get these Mountain Scryers out of here so they can't just keep playing these invoke cards for so cheap. By the moon's crescent blade. Guide our allies, my friend. They challenge with Diana. I got multiple ways to deal with it. Fortunate. Night descends. Face your heretic. Listen. I'm just going to attack for eleven right here. I think. No, let's go Sentry and then just have Sejuani available also for whatever they play for a blocker. But then they'll be able to play another blocker. Daylight star will rule the skies. Oh, that one's kind of annoying. Bow to no one. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. I'll cut them apart. You're mine, born for conquest. You were misguided. So we're doing good on the board, but they still have six cards left. A lot of cards. Speaks through me. A chill in the air. Sa Elisa Tiri B. All right, hopefully, our open attack will work, but not too much healing over there. Good chance they're going to have, like, star shaping. I'm only attacking for 17. Hopefully this works. I can make it 20 with Sejuani's Fury of the North if they do have star shaping. It's a good sign. Knowledge springs from many sources. Let's get one card. Another one card. Those are all very good signs. Another 
one card. All right, GGs. We survived. When you have too much card advantage. Playing against the elites. Let's frostbite some elites. Ooh, Omen Hawk. Let's go. Let's go, Omen Hawk. What's going on, Adam? It's rank up Sunday. We're playing four awesome decks. Darn here of mid range frostbite. Hello. I need to stop the turn, you know, the turn two, the two mana lord for the elites. That two drop. I need to keep them from playing that card. Z lad, welcome. Thank you so much for getting that resub with Twitch Prime second month. That is great, thank you. Okay, let's play this. Hey Lunat, so you are a brand new player, which decks are something viable to craft? Good question. Mobilytics has a wonderful stats page uh, located here. I recommend checking out that website that it, you can kind of, you can browse through there and see whatever kind of decks you like to play. It has a lot of numbers of like how successful decks have been and, and things like that. Uh, different region combinations that's a really good resource to have access to now i want to say that on tuesday so in two days from now on tuesday there is going to be a new balance patch update um and you can follow you know you can of course follow along here or this is the new site on rune terra where it will be posted Um, and so some, some things are going to be changing, most likely, um, and that usually happens once or twice a month. So I did not attack on turn two because I didn't want them to play that two-mana lord. What's the name of the card? Y'all know what card, card I'm talking about. The card for the elites. Not sure. Do I want to brittle steal this thing? I don't know. I kind of maybe I should be brittle stealing. Battlesmith, thank you. Thanks, Choo Choo. Yes, Battlesmith. So basically, I didn't want to attack for six, and then they play Battlesmith after that. I'd rather them just waste the turn, and so then they'd have to kind of go from behind and, and try to replay Battlesmith afterwards and things like that. Troll Chant's an awesome draw because that's going to just um, trade with an entire Silver Wing. Really challenging Omen Hawk? That's what we're doing. Really? Why are we killing the Omen Hawks? What are we doing? So I could save this other Omen Hawk with a Brittle Steel. It's just a 1-1. One, one. It's a good combo. So I'm guessing they have single combat. Play it. They have two single combats? They started to play this other card and then played this one? Wow, 
Wow. That's pretty impressive. Pain is nothing. Ride onward. I'll cut them apart. Let's see, I can... You're mine. I'm just gonna do this. For my homeland. Could play the other Brittle Steel first and make these three three things not be able to block, but they could just block with the other three things. It's not, it's not that big a deal. So now if they have another single combat... By challenging these things with those, I wasn't, I didn't have to throw my Brittle Steel out proactively. I could use my Brittle Steel reactively like this. These Demacia soldiers are just falling. I've trained my whole life for this. They are falling. All right, GG's. The Demacia oh, army was taken down by the frostbite of the dead of winter. Just, it's too cold. So now we're playing against an opponent that likes the cold. Mulligan harsh winds. They like the cold. These are all decent cards, but this is a really, really big curve. Maybe I just mulligan it all and look for cheaper things like Omen Hawk. Sweet. I would not mind a Calling Strike to be able to take down an O4. Or a Glory Seeker could take down an O4. Brittle Steel is my worst card for this matchup. Um, I'm just gonna play this so we can just keep on playing cards. The trap is set. Okay. Not ideal. But I think it's worth the pressure. Um I don't, I don't regret playing that two mana card on turn two. Especially with this hand. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Oh, behind you, a Yeti! Yetis? There's no such a thing. A Yeti. Ah, we still haven't drawn our Yeti? So Trundle's kind of a problem. If I play Hearthguard first. And they play Trundle, and then that's difficult. We fight for one frail yard. There's our Yeti. Would have liked to have that last turn. King of Trolls coming through. Trolls are going to war! Ready when you are. Always ready. Now, Trifarian Assessor is like our best draw that would completely refill our hand and more. Oh, wouldn't completely refill our hand. I mean, it would draw four cards. Okay, let's see. Seven mana, three, four, five, six, seven. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. So basically, I can use three cards to kill this Trundle. <laughs> it's good to be the king. Not three cards, just two cards. 
Yeah, all I need to do is troll Chan Culling Strike. Hmm. What's going on here? Hush is always a beating. Man, Hush is always a beating. Today we fight as one. I'm through waiting. You're mine. Hey, Enrios. You really hate Hush. Understandable. That was a that was a really great hush right there. Remember me. So I should have just gone right to attacks in the first part. In the first, maybe I should just cooling strike to the ice pillar. I don't know. Hoping they attack with the trundle. Yeah, I can, of course, I can frostbite it. Ready when you are. Always ready. Victory requires a sharp blade. Yeah, it didn't it wasn't gonna have the regen because it was it was hushed. But it'll have the regen after this turn. And Trifarian Assessor is just the card that we we just need. We need Trifarian Assessor. It'd be such a big draw. Oh, find that card. King. That's really too bad. Now I don't get to brittle steal it. Get ready for a beat down. Come on, Trifarian Assessor. Aberrations, stand together. Ash is still at zero. Assessor. No. There's no such thing. I and you, you and me, we'll rule the world. And I thought humans were stupid. A true Fagorian welcome. All right, come on, Assessor. Assessor. I don't love an audience. Not the worst draw. It just gets rid of the spell shield of early and souls. So it's. It's not like the best draw. Looks like we're probably just going straight to attacks. Now they'll pay attention. Hot on the trail. 
Today we fight as one. It's not even lethal. I don't know how, even if this works and I get eight damage across, I'm not sure how I'm doing the last point of damage. A beginner's guide. That trundle was too strong, just could never kill that thing in the regen. Um, you know, the hush. The hush was amazing that they had. Um, yeah, that was, that was perfect. And then... I just couldn't kill that, couldn't kill that thing. Um, and yeah, no assessor to, to fill my hand either. Um, yeah, good hand. The avalanche, you know, like they had, they had basically all the cards they needed to win that game, like right whenever they needed, you know, like they had the avalanche on turn three that, that helped save them a good amount of life. And then that trundle and they had the hush for the trundle. And then immediately, as soon as they had the 10 mana, they had the Aurelian soul. You know, they just had, they just had a really good hand and they kept on having good interaction like troll chants and things like that that kept keeping the trundle alive so ggs um one assessor would have been huge especially after hearth guard turn five turn six double hearth guard just couldn't find that assessor all right uh but yeah mid-range frostbite this deck still feels really, really good. You know, we had we ran into an opponent that had just too much Nexus damage. Um, you know, like we got them, or like they got us, you know, like the, they did like the last 12 points of damage that were all Nexus damage to us, and then yeah, that Trundle opponent that had the right cards at the right time. Um, but our, our deck feels really good. I, I think that, uh, like I'd be very confident of just continuing to play this and continuing to rank up with it. Um, yeah, I'd be really confident with that. So anyway, there we go. That's mid-range frostbite. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, camera's over here now. That's right. <laughs> those those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments about the deck, about anything else. Uh, I really appreciate those comments. Please keep those coming. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.